Hi there, I'm Jonathan Strickland, a senior writer here with HowStuffWorks.com, and today I wanted to talk about the future of jobs. Well, this is a pretty complicated topic, and to really understand it, we need to look at what the present situation is. We've got a really complex issue brought on by several different factors. One of those is the development of technology, which has made us much more efficient in doing certain tasks than it used to be, uh, which means that we don't need as many people to do those tasks as we once needed. That means that we've got a lot of people who are would have normally gone into that line of work now out of work. Uh, and back in the day, we used to think that, well, if we create a system, for example, robots or robots to take over, that we would be able to transition people from being frontline workers on a factory to perhaps being maintenance and uh, uh, design workers for robots. Well, it's much more complicated than that. The skill sets are very much different from one another. So there's that issue, making things so efficient that we don't need as many people working on it. There's also the issue of globalization. Now, this is where companies are starting to look at other countries than the one that they are based in in order to fill out the needs that they have in their workforce. This is great news for people who live in poorer countries and it's a little frightening for people who live in the richer countries that would have normally had those jobs. It feels like jobs are being taken away from one country and given to another. It's a little more complex than that because a company may not necessarily be able to afford keeping on a full uh, employment of people from that rich country who have an expectation of a certain salary. So globally, you might have a conservation of jobs, but regionally you're going to see fluctuations. Now another issue is that people as they get older are less likely to retire at the ages previously uh, that they would have. Um, so in other words, someone who's getting up in years might want to stick with a job out of reasons for, for financial security because the, the, uh, the retirement options have decreased significantly over the last few years. As companies have seen costs go up, they've reduced the benefits that they have given to people uh, who work for them. So now a person who is reaching retirement age may want to continue working in that job a few years more just so that they build up a bit of a nest egg. Well this means that that company is not going to be able to fill that position with someone who is younger. So a lot of younger workers or younger potential workers are having trouble finding a job because more and more people are just staying where they are and they aren't willing to leave. We've actually seen this go into pretty incredible unemployment rates. In 2011, in Spain, the unemployment rate for, for youthful workers was around 44%, which is astronomical, and it led to quite a bit of political strife and, and public demonstrations of protestations about this. Uh, we're probably going to see some more of that in the future as young people continue to struggle to find work. So what are some of the solutions here? Well, in the short term, solutions may involve approaching educational facilities and saying, we really need to make sure we're teaching people who are coming into the education system the skills that they're really going to need in order to work. And by that, I mean the skills that companies are looking for. Because it's not that there's less work to go around, there's always more work. It's that companies are looking for very specific skill sets and they're finding it lacking. They're not finding as many people who possess those skills as they need. So if the education system can cater to that, if it can be more nimble and look at what the market needs and help teach students that and encourage that in their students, then that could help with the job market quite a bit. Now, the science fiction answer, which is awesome and I doubt will ever happen in my lifetime, is that we will reach a point where jobs are moot. They're unnecessary. It's not really important because we have actually reached a point where we can produce anything we need with a minimum amount of effort. That being uh, things like uh, uh, furniture. You got a printer at home, 3D printer. Push a button, boom, you got a chair. You need uh, some sort of expert advice? Well, hey, IBM's Watson could win a Jeopardy. It's gonna tell you how you can do anything, right? In this future, our needs are catered to already by the technology we've developed with maybe a few people in very, very specific positions keeping things running for the rest of us while we all do what 
uh, I guess, uh, pursue art or theater or reality television. You know, whatever floats your boat. That's the Star Trek version of the future where money is not even necessary anymore and we're all living in kind of a utopia. Will we ever reach it? I sure hope so. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to go check my retirement fund. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.